For any kid that's ever had the pleasure of walking out of a busy arcade after a full day of gaming, there are often two overwhelming feelings that hit them as they walk towards that exit door. First being, the wish they had more quarters. Secondly, a whimsical wish that they had their very own arcade machine for their own home. Now that these kids have grown into adults, some continue to pursue that dream. Oftentimes though, they run into difficult considerations, such as the sheer space these machines take up and the price these machines, often costing into the thousands of dollars. Fortunately for these adults, longing to fill that nostalgic void, there's the three-quarter scale arcade cabinets from Arcade 1, a product that aims to fill the space left for those who want a real arcade experience in their home without breaking the bank. With a standard arcade cabinet coming in at over six feet tall and often weighing over 400 pounds, these scaled down machines offer a far more convenient option for an arcade enthusiast. Coming in at only a mere 63 pounds and a height of 46 inches, adults can play these machines comfortably while seated in a chair, or if they desire a more original arcade experience, there is an optional riser sold separately that can be placed underneath this machine to raise it up an additional foot, bringing the arcade controls up to the exact height they were on the original full-size machines. Speaking of controls, you'll notice these machines also have built-in arcade controls that allow you to play these games exactly the way they were intended to be originally played. Thankfully, Arcade 1UP has went to great lengths to ensure they provide a very close to original experience for the consumer. Working with the original game license holders, Arcade 1UP developed a proprietary system to run these machines, emulating the original arcade ROM. Some will be quick to notice, however, that there have been some changes to the machine. Mainly, these machines use a 17-inch LCD monitor instead of CRT monitors that were very prevalent in original arcade cabinets back in the day. While this might upset the most feverish arcade fan, this is an understandable change considering it's 2018 and CRT monitors are no longer being mass-produced. In fact, I'm happy to say the 17-inch LCD monitor that comes in this machine looks amazing. It's beautifully sharp, it's a vibrant display that makes these games really jump off the screen, especially during Street Fighter gameplay, providing excellent visibility for gaming at all usual viewing angles. One of the biggest complaints of using LCD monitors for arcade gaming is often input lag that sometimes games run into, and I'm very happy to report that I found no such issue with this included monitor. If you're a technophile and you're looking for a potential change to the settings this monitor display has, or potentially adding something such as a scanline generator, you'll be a little let down to know that none of these things are possible with this monitor. But for the $299 price point that these machines are currently listed at, I don't see that being an issue as it really doesn't affect gameplay and it's more of a personal preference. These machines also include the originally licensed artwork adorned on the side panels of the cabinet, monitor bezel, and the control panel itself, providing a 99% accurate replication of the original art, with the only real difference being the addition of the Arcade 1UP logo itself. They were even sure to include the original misspelling of Balrog's name on the Street Fighter bezel. Find the original marquee graphic fixed to the top of the machine. One thing to note is, unlike the full-size predecessors, this machine does not have an illuminated marquee. Now, I completely understand that the marquee not lighting up was a cost savings measure, but for future installments down the line, I would like to see Arcade want to make some changes, potentially just changing the wood panel to a plexiglass panel, and that way we can add our own LED light strips if we want, and that way we could have a truly bright and colorful light up marquee. So let's see, these cabinets are relatively affordable at $299, are pretty accessible, available at most major retailers, and are easy to move and lightweight, you know, very simple to store in your house. But none of that even matters if the gameplay isn't good. So let's go ahead and change out and get right into it, shall we? Let's go. Okay, so I put the Street Fighter cabinet through the paces for the last couple of days, and I'm very happy to report that it plays fantastic. Um, the joystick does leave a little bit uh, to be desired as far as for hardcore gaming enthusiasts. Um, if you've been a hardcore fight fan for a long time, you've played numerous fighting games, especially with arcade style sticks, you're probably not going to be as happy with the joystick, but honestly, I do think for casual gamers, it's going to be completely fine. Now, this joystick does use a square restrictor plate instead of a, a round or an octagonal restrictor plate, but it still plays pretty good. One gripe I did have was that the, the round ball tops on this arcade stick continuously kept coming unwound and unscrewed, and I continually had to put it back on after, I don't know, maybe one or two rounds. Uh, a solution I found for that is very simple. I mean, you could just put super glue or some kind of super glue product on the tip of that and screw it down and it'll hold. Or you could do what I did and replace those ball tops with bat tops I found these on Amazon. I'll be sure to put a, a link down below in the description box below this video. But uh, 
I put these bat tops on there and they screw on just, you know, you just unscrew the ball top, you put on this bat top, and these fit much more snugly and I didn't have any issues whatsoever with these coming unscrewed. Very cheap, easy fix. Secondly, the only other gripe I had about this machine was the sound. Um, unfortunately, when you're playing the super versions of these games, uh, the, the, the sound files just don't sound good. And the reason for that is because Arcade 1UP was sent stereo file sounds from the game licensor, Capcom, and they tried to output that via mono sound. So essentially you're compressing a stereo sound into a one channel system, Brazil. and you're basically losing all the left side audio. And this is really noticeable in certain areas like the character select screen, as well as various different levels of their background music. You completely miss a lot of the instrumentation and the chip tunes that are playing in the background. It's a little bit distracting. It's not a deal breaker by any means, but for anybody that's played these games for many, many years, you'll pick up on this right away. Overall, I'm very satisfied with the Street Fighter cabinet, and I would have to give this two thumbs up. I think it'll make a great companion piece to my full-size Street Fighter arcade cabinet, and I'm very happy to add it to my collection. So next, let's talk about this guy, the Rampage cabinet. The Rampage cabinet is probably the most unique cabinet from this initial launch of Arcade 1UP machines, as it comes with controls for three players. While this is a great idea, the cabinet width currently does make for some very awkward three-player gaming for full-size adults, but it is still completely playable in this manner. I was very happy with the gameplay of Rampage. The controls are very responsive, the picture was very sharp, and has great bright colors that really pop from this LCD. All in all, I have zero complaints with Rampage. Next I tried my hand at Gauntlet. The gameplay was great until I ran into an issue. A very big issue. Unfortunately when I reached level 30 the game has a glitch that caused the screen image to scroll continuously and would not allow me to play the game any further. I tried multiple different sessions of this game and ran into this issue every single time. Now Arcade 1UP has officially released a statement on this glitch notifying everyone that they are fully aware of the issue and have a fix in place. They are encouraging anyone who experiences this glitch on their Rampage cabinet to reach out to their customer service department and they will get fixed up with replacement parts to solve the issue. After this, it was time to try my hand at Joust. I had an excellent experience with this game and it plays exactly how I remember and overall is an excellent representation of this game. Lastly, it was time for me to play one of my favorites growing up, Defender. And sadly, this was an extremely frustrating endeavor. I'm almost at a loss for words with just how hard and difficult it is to play Defender with the current control scheme and layout on this game. Now I understand this cabinet was set up for Rampage and it's being you know repurposed for Defender, but whoever programmed the button mapping on this game, well, they should be taken outside and punched in the stomach. I mean, quite simply, this is infuriating. There's no way to play this game without having both hands across the entire width of the control panel and it's just it's not playable I mean quite simply put it's just unplayable um, you can you can fight and try to you know adapt to this gameplay style and probably spend 45 minutes on it and maybe get used to it but for anybody else you, you're just not gonna have fun playing this game it, it's so hard and difficult and it really shouldn't be it's very basic control scheme and it's just the button mapping on this game is unfortunately just horrible so I, I really have to just not recommend anyone play the Defender game so if you're looking looking at getting the Rampage cabinet specifically for Defender I'm going to suggest you look elsewhere so let's wrap it up what are my final thoughts on the arcade one up product so I had a great experience with the Street Fighter cabinet and a middle of the road experience with the, the Rampage cabinet. Do I think these machines are worth $299? Yes, I, I honestly, I think that's a pretty good price point for them. Obviously, we would all love to see them lower, but reasonably speaking, I think that's a great price point. Really, the only competition and similar themed products for this right now are the little handheld arcade cabinets that you'll find at like Walmarts and Targets and things like that. Those things roughly cost about $25. They're cute and all. They've got the look of a, an arcade cabinet, but they are really unplayable. I mean, unless you're an absolute child, you're not going to be able to play those things. I mean, they're just little bitty controls like this. I'm, I'm a full-size adult. I have full-size adult fingers. I can't work those little machines. They look cute on a shelf, but I don't want to spend $25 to play those things when I could just invest in one of these and get a much more authentic and similar arcade experience than I had as a child. 
Do I think you should spend the money and actually buy one of these? If you're a hardcore gamer or a retro enthusiast, absolutely. I think your $300 is well spent on these machines. Um, I, I really think it's going to be the hot ticket Christmas item this year, especially with the availability of them. Um, the fact that you can go into major retailers and just pick one of these up, put it in the back of your vehicle and drive home, put it together in relatively short time, you know, 45 minutes, put together like an Ikea bookshelf. Very simple assembly. I think all of those factors, the fact that it's lightweight, it's easy to pick up, move, store around your house, much more accessible than a full-size arcade cabinet. Speaking of which, let, let, let's talk about a full-size arcade cabinet for just a brief second. So this guy uh, over here, yeah, this guy right here, I had to pay well over $1,000 for. I've had to put lots of money, time, and energy into repairing it, keeping it up. Much more difficult ownership liabilities here than it is for arcade one-up cabinets. In fact, it took me and two other buddies a hell of a time trying to get this up my stairs. Almost died, put a hole in my wall, don't tell my wife. I much would have preferred just going to a Walmart, Target, or a Best Buy and buying an arcade one-up cabinet if those were available. Anyways, short story long, if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing because I've got more great nerdy content coming up. I'll be following the arcade one-up releases coming up in the future very closely, so be sure to follow me, subscribe to this channel, hit that notification bell, get notified every time I'm posting a new video, and as always, thanks for watching, guys.